don't have uh, much faith in this ending, so might as well just get it over with. I don't really have anything to say, so let's go. Hmm. 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 Dorohi. I'm ready to open it. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. 대표님 이런 모습 두 번째네요. 부모님 장례식 때도 이랬어요. 도이 간신히 버텨왔는데 결국 무너지네요. Oh. Girl, what? Why are you on the streets? Oh! 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 Why y'all trying to make me cry this episode? Oh, that's where they washed up after they jumped off the yeah in the first episode or second i think it's the first one Merry Christmas Was she listening? Listen, you heard that? Come on. Hold up, hold up. What's happening? Did she actually do it? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Is this real though? <laughs> like, is this really happening? Okay. 
Merry Christmas today. I ain't gonna lie to y'all i lost faith i was like this ain't it <laughs> i was ready for this whole thing to end up like we did lost everything oh my god <laughs> mm. yeah give him his ring back give him his ring back yeah <laughs> okay god i see you Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it did. 도박에 재능이 없다는 게참 다행이라고 생각해. <웃음> 내가 <웃음> 내가 도박에 재능이 없어. 매우. 그때 딱 아버지. 아주 그냥 열받이 소배시켜 버릴 줄 알아. 싫어. 나 이제 인간들하고 부대끼면서 사는 게 너무 좋아졌어. <웃음> 능력이 없는 대문의 신체는 인간과 똑같아. He's back. 희사자. 가영아, 넌 오지 마. <웃음> <laughs> Let them hug you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, he got a way with words. I'm saying. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the star lopsided. I can't. I'm so happy. Nothing not, not else better happen. Because, look, it's a lot of ups and downs in this thing. Oh. Oh, was she pregnant? Oh, no. <laughs> Wow. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. Oh my, oh my god. Oh. So he saved Odo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Y'all saved me too. You saved me too. Yup. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Just go. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, I'm going to go. I 
Oh my god. Oh, the restaurant, he's gonna come in there. Is he? Oh, it's booming. Dang. Of course. <laughs> like, what the heck? After all that, you got your little cute moment with your son. It's okay. Are you serious? Girl. She better not do nothing. She better not do nothing crazy. Wait, what if she go in there and be like, Dodo, he, I'm sorry. I'm on your side now because, like, because, like, she ain't got nowhere else to go. <laughs> I want to see her beg on your knees. Hello, Tailman. <laughs> Cute. Not the dramatic editing. <laughs> on your knees. Come on. Adjusting, <laughs> boosting support. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow. She about to meet up with him. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, Oh, her mouth is a genius. <laughs> well, <gasps> is he coming in? Oh. Years ago, do same 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 girl i feel it too oh I, I know that hurt oh damn this really feel like a final for real everybody oh <gasps> is that her old house uh oh oh no Right. Oh, she's defending other people. That's not how you discipline your own child. Uh uh. Is she gonna take the child in now? Oh. Mm. Dang, they really, they really redeemed her for me, cause I was. Oh. 
I was not going with her. I really wasn't. 언니는 천사예요? <gasps> oh. 아저씨 천사예요? Dang. 응. 천사야. Wow. 앞으로 무슨 일 있을 때마다 연락해. 천사는 말이야. 천사는 말이야. 널 구하러 오지 않아. 항상 널 구하러 올 거야. 오! 아갈 거예요 안갈 거예요. Bruh, chill. <웃음> 안 가요. 여기서 할 일이 있어서. Let's go. Let's go. 피해 아동 센터를 운영할 생각이에요. 음. 내 잘못이 다 씻겨지는 건 아니겠지만. Honestly, okay. <웃음> She ain't kill nobody, right? As far as I know, so. <laughs> what she said to her son was not right, but I'm pretty sure she regret that, you know? <laughs> and she kind of made up for it at the end. She did nothing compared to her husband and, and stuff, so. It's really hard in those situations, especially to like stand up to your abuser like that. She did, she just was trying to survive, honestly. I know from the outside looking in, we always go, oh, you know, you should have done this, but it's a lot harder than you think in when you're in it so like i just know like the guilt is like eating her alive because of that bro that flashback with her son oh wow i think like that moved me so much i was not ready for that okay oh mm, come on mm-hmm mm-hmm Make it public. Make it public. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all were not good at hiding it. There are pictures up there. Oh. Cute. <laughs> oh wow, time jump. Four months later. He's back to himself. Uh, love it. Uh, love him. Uh. Take five. <laughs> Take five. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love us. Oh my God. Final freaking Lee. We on top, baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did he dye his hair? Wait, wait, wait. Not me over here, but whoa. This whole entire show, I was literally like, I was so sus of him. Well, honestly, when it came to like when Star Jin started doing her thing, that's when I realized that, okay, he on our side. Cause like, honestly, I had every right to be su sus of him. I really did. Especially the first episode, I was like, mm, I don't trust nobody. Like I was like, I don't trust nobody in this family. Except for Austin and Justin. <laughs> It wasn't until Sargent just started doing all her stuff that I realized that he really was a good one because she was acting like I don't know what and I realized that he actually did like care and like all that stuff so anyway that made me realize his true colors when I got there I know everybody was mad at me oh my god y'all people in the comments was like I, I saw people in the comments like well not everybody but some people in the comments were like why are you hating on him I'm like y'all especially because I was like in the early stages of this of this show I didn't trust nobody but Dodo he honestly <laughs> I was over here um guessing that her secretary was also somebody of interest so really it was nothing against him I just didn't trust anybody <laughs> come on now like everybody was out to get her so i had good reason to not trust him but like i said as i got also this is just a show okay i don't actually really hate him 
I felt like y'all really thought I hated him. I don't hate the man. <laughs> it's the character. <laughs> but anyway, it wasn't it was until then that I was like, oh no, he a real one. He a real G. He didn't even give up his shares. He said, uh, no, I need to make sure that I could trust you. And he knew, period. And he was always there for Dodo He, period. He didn't have no alternatives. Wait, Dodo He move over, girl. <laughs> Is he the chairman? I would love that. Sit in that chair, King. Ah! Oh my God. After our Mire Group, we will take a step by step to focus on the next step. Oh wow, we won. We won. No. Do you remember? Our Austin was older than you. あなたらに。ええ、僕の支配に確認されました。わお。明日出費再選考でもね、じゃあ、ノーソンミンの一生を救助させてくれました。私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私
Yo, that was such a good show. I loved it. It put me through hell though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that was that was that was way too much. <laughs> uh. mm. Well, you guys, that is the end of my demon. <laughs> um that oh, wow that was a roller coaster ride i think this drama went up and down so many times i never knew what the frick was gonna happen like even when i thought i had it figured out i didn't know like i didn't know <laughs> like it was so crazy um and i will say too one okay first thing i want to say is this was 16 episodes and i know sometimes it can drag i don't know if it was because i was really in, into the storyline of this sh this show um but i didn't feel like it dragged a lot i always was like oh i need to figure out what happened next you know there was always something eventful that happened in the episode um i don't always feel that way with dramas and i was engaged with this whole entire show yes the main leads are very attractive and and the romance was kicking <laughs> in lots of episodes but i think like i said the main thing that was really like intriguing to me was the mystery it was finding out who actually killed her parents and all of the leading lines you know what i mean and you know his powers and how to get the tattoo back his human life there were so many other plot like plots happening in the story that like honestly sometimes the romance wasn't even really on my mind i was just really kind of like oh i want to know what happens next with this plot line and i think that's what really pushed the drama forward for me it wasn't just a flat out rom-com or whatever there was romantic moments there was serious moments there was murder happening there's mystery so i feel like it kind of had a lot of things going for it that I think kind of helped in the long run. To be honest, I honestly didn't really, okay, how do I say this without coming off like, I don't want to come off wrong or rude or mean. I don't want to do that. That's not my intention. There were so many people telling me the show was horrible and that I shouldn't be watching it after hundreds of y'all told me to watch it. <laughs> So I was a little confused at that at first. I was like, well, you told me to watch it. Now I'm watching it. Now everyone's telling me not to watch it. Like, I'm so confused. Um, but anyway, I understand like if the show wasn't your, uh, like your favorite, it's totally fine. But I felt like that whole narrative was being pushed onto me where like, I was like, oh, well, I mean, if you guys don't like it, that's totally fine. But like, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I really like it so far. I, I don't know. You know, I didn't really feel th the same way as a lot of other people felt about the drama maybe that could be because i'm very new to k dramas like i've only watched a handful um and i i haven't watched a ton so this whole thing was very new for me and maybe i had a fresher pair of eyes don't watch this show it's not that good and then then what would happen would be other people would be like this show is way better than this show and i'm just like okay <laughs> it's just a matter of preference at this point for me personally i didn't really like that because i was like okay i'm enjoying the show though you know it's totally fine if you didn't enjoy it but i am enjoying it and i want to share my thoughts and i want to share my experiences with, with you and and just because you didn't end up liking it you, you shouldn't push that on to me <laughs> like i don't know it was just like and I'm not, I'm not, that's why I said I want to be careful what I say. I'm not trying to say like the people that voiced that they didn't like the show all that well is the problem. It's just like there was some, there were, there were a handful of comments that were really like, you need to stop reacting to the show. And I know I don't have to listen to those comments because it's my channel. If I want to react to something, I, I can, but it really kind of put that narrative on me. And I'm like, you guys, I'm enjoying the show. <laughs> like it's, it's not just because the leads are pretty there are there are things happening in there i'm i'm you know if the show did not have substance like i wouldn't have continued watching it or binge react to it either like there's no way you can't voice your opinion like i'm not saying you can't it's just there's a line <laughs> i hope i'm trying to explain it there's a line where it's just like you know let me enjoy it if i enjoy it if i don't i will i will voice my opinion as well you know so it's just like i don't want to feel like I have to gravitate towards the public's opinion when I when I have my own opinion. You know what I mean? I want to watch the show through my eyes and 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 you know feel how I feel. I don't want to be per persuaded per se. There were so many cool moments in the show. The tangles the tangle scene is like stuck in my head. Like <laughs> it's one of my favorite scenes 
throughout the whole entire show. Love the middle finger scene. I, I keep mentioning those because it was really fun. Um, apparently he improv that, so king. Um, I actually liked the first episode and how when they first met each other, that was really fun. Personally, I think for me, when episode three happened, that's when it really kind of kicks off. Like you have this full blown mystery going on and it really kind of sets the momentum for the rest of the show. I think episode seven truly put me in such a roller coaster ride of emotions. I really, that episode, I remember being so like just in shock. <laughs> about everything. I actually kind of liked it once because like for a long period of time, the tattoo was like the biggest like mystery or thing we had to figure out. We had to figure out how to get the tattoo back from her to him. And along the way, a couple other plot lines were developing. And then once we got to the point where he did get his tattoo back, I kind of was like, okay, well now that we have taken away the main thing like what is gonna happen next i was kind of worried because i felt like they may do something a little weird or something where now that he has his tattoo back it might feel like not what the show was giving at first but they did a good job because while we were focusing on the tattoo like i said other plot lines were developing so then we bring back his human life his human life comes into play and it kind of tricks you and you think oh he killed her or like i was thinking all these things or like he killed her parents like 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 they started bringing in all these things that we kind of knew before and really kind of flushed out towards the end and really kind of opened it up and gave us like episodes where we got to see more in details like you know what actually happened so i feel like that ended up being okay for me because i really wanted to know more about his his human life so to get to see that more and like her perspective as well. I feel satisfied with the ending. I like the ending. Um, I guess they're just gonna grow old together, which is kind of sad because he's a demon and she's a human. So like one day she's gonna pass away. Like, hello, <laughs> that's so sad. So like, he's kind of worried about that, but they get to spend time together until that happens. So I think one of the most devastating storylines in this show was what's his name um dokyan dokyan i don't know i'm sorry if i'm saying it wrong um i think at first i just kind of thought he was bad but like his story really broke my heart his story like really broke my heart um and like i like i said i don't want to excuse because he, he killed someone he did he did that he acted upon that and like that's not an excuse but like the abuse he suffered you know so could we have could we had avoided that if he was you know if we helped him you know and that scene at the end there where he was like i i i want to protect me and you from this monster of a man in their house like i cannot he, he was trying to protect them you guys that is so sad that is so sad. And like, I think what's even more sad is the last words that they said to each other, that, that he said to, to his mom and that she said to him. And I know as a mother, she was devastated. Um, Dodo, he my girl. Dodo, he my girl, y'all. She really went through so much during this whole entire show. I don't even think, I honestly think the only episode where she like finally well, she had a couple of happy moments, but I feel like the only one was really like 16, you know, episode 16 at the end where like everything finally came together because it was just such a roller coaster. We were always so up and down, like she really didn't have much time to breathe, honestly. But she stayed strong every single step of the way. And I can admire that so much um, from her because wow. All in all, I would honest, honestly rate this drama a nine out of 10. A nine out of 10 yeah it was very solid for me i don't think there was a time i really was like i'm kind of just over this like i really never felt that way i really enjoyed this show i think the actors did such an amazing job and at delivering everybody's roles there were so many times where i felt emotional pulled by the performance i know that i will like a drama when i rewatch it so i've i've rewatched vincenzo so many times um, I rewatched It's Okay Not To Be Okay when I first watched it, watched it so many times. Um, what other one have I done? Have I? Business Proposal. I love Business Proposal. You guys know that. Um, we just watched that and it was so good. So for me, if I can rewatch a drama multiple times, I know I love it. And I will be re-watching uh, this one for sure. Like I need to go back. 
and see all the iconic moments but man this was just so good it was so good thank you all for being so patient as we gone through the show because i was going through life crisis <laughs> during it <laughs> um but we made it nonetheless i know everyone really wanted me to post two episodes a week um but that pace was not a pace that i could accurately put out with the amount of channels i run schoolwork i have so yeah i'm very diligent in my work and i want to be you know con c consistent for you guys but this is not the only thing that i do once we move which is coming up y'all I'm, I'm so excited this whole space is not doing it for me so we're finally gonna move soon very very soon and i can financially breathe a little bit uh, I will be hiring a second editor and that second editor is probably going to be solely based on this channel um, just because I kind of have a I kind of already have a flow with the other one I feel confident with that helping me with this channel so I can really be solid over here and not have to stress a little bit and hopefully maybe helping help me with patreon too that'd be great as well but yeah once I get that second editor it may look even more consistent to you guys I may be able to put out even more so fingers crossed fingers crossed for that i appreciate the love on on this drama but yeah leave your thoughts in your comments down below we'd love to hear about what you thought about the show about what we watched just now and uh but this is not the last drama we'll check out so leave your thoughts and comments down below that's gonna be it for me i will see you guys on the next one